Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Halfway through the week, so to keep you going until the weekend, we have the always wonderful, witty weekly update. And a recap of yesterday's pep rally, coming up next on NHS TV. Host members, please join in this week for happy hour on Thursday in room 814A. Bring your favorite snack and drink. You will be making signs for Heart Health Awareness Month. Also, also HOSA is now co collecting donations of items to send to the troops. Items must be in bulk quantities or individually wrapped. Please drop off all items in room 814A before February 7th. Don't forget about the um, Mr. Texan pageant coming up on... February 4th at 7 p.m. The tickets are $5 in advance and $8 at the door. Carrie, you're not a senior. Not that you'd have a chance anyway. If you received a letter inviting you to join the National Honor Society and missed the meeting this morning, don't worry, because there's another meeting today after school in the lecture hall. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Johnson in room 2301. Led by our lively principal, Mr. Childress, the junior and senior pep rally yesterday was extremely spirited as the student section cheered on our basketball teams, soccer teams, wrestling team, powerlifting, swimming, and clubs. The staff members of the year were also recognized, Administrative Support Employee of the Year, Ms. Kemp, Instructional Support Employee of the Year, Ms. Vandergriff, Support Employee of the Year, Mr. Bray, and Teacher of the Year, Mr. Cooper. Along with our sidekick officers and cheerleaders who performed their competition routines, it was great for everyone to get recognized for all of their hard work. This Justin, Devin Fortenberry, and a dress. You guys need to see this. Welcome to the weekly update. I'm Devin Fortenberry, and it's time for some news. An 11-year-old boy in Spain managed to stop the parent-teacher conference that his parents were going to by faking a kidnapping. The boy texted his dad, who was a police officer, that he got kidnapped and was trapped in the trunk of a car. A nationwide alert was issued to find this boy until his father realized that the keys to another home were missing and found his son hiding there. I don't think the kid has to worry about getting in trouble for grades now. Two storage workers in Georgia managed to steal over $65,000 worth of chicken wings. That must have been some huge Super Bowl party they were planning. A man in Pennsylvania who died at the age of 88 had one wish for his funeral, that he could get one last Whopper. The hearse drove through the drive-thru at Burger King and the family ordered their late family member a burger. The funny thing is, his body will take decay much faster than that burger. Before I play the next segment, I would like to just announce that Texas on Main Street is its very own segment and will be done by one of our anchors, Carrie Gleason. Now, it's time for the second edition of Stupid Public Service Announcements. Devin's not wearing his ID. Where your ID? Oh, 
a dancer. That was weird. I'll see ya. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day, and may the good news be with you. Wow, what a sight. But I'm super excited for Carrie's new Man on the Street segment. I know, it sounds awesome. But for now, tomorrow we'll have a special feature on a student here at Northwest. That's all we have for today. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Texans.